So, there's a genocide happening. I didn't really know where to fit this within my usual stuff that I produce for my channel. Uh, but, you know, with everything that's happening right now, I felt this real obligation to use whatever platform I had to, I don't know, express something about what's currently taking place. I didn't really want to feel like I was the kind of person that, when there is this kind of uh, horrific event taking place, just sat there and did nothing about it, even if it was just sort of signalling my support, putting links up that people can use to lend their own support. Uh, obviously this is an issue that I've talked about in previous videos, but it feels especially relevant now for obvious reasons. But while this is something that I've been wanting to say, it's not strictly the purpose of this video. You might notice it's been a little while since I put anything on this channel. It's been a couple of months. Since the last video, I did take a short break, and then when I came back, I did plan on getting, you know, some fun content out there for people to enjoy. I got started on the video about a topic that I alluded to in the last one. And in the end, recent news kind of impeded me a little bit. Impeded me not just because it's such a serious subject matter that's very difficult to contextualize, especially given the usual kinds of things that I make, but a sense personally that I had very little to contribute meaningfully to any of this. Besides having spoken about political issues a lot in my channel in the past, I've also talked quite a bit about mental health. Early on when my channel came back, uh, mental health was actually, you know, a big part of what I was discussing. I did take an almost two year break from making anything on the channel because of specific mental struggles that I was having for a significant period of time. A period of time where I realized, for instance, that I had undiagnosed ADHD, which is probably some information that, that would have been good to know uh, sooner. But as well as that, having that be comorbid with uh, specifically depression that I was suffering. A sort of cycle of depression that has always kind of been there, even if it's something that I didn't always acknowledge to myself. The sort of 2020 to 2021 period was probably the, the single longest bout of prolonged depression that I've ever experienced. Um, I think in large part just because the support network that I usually had was obviously a bit strained because of, you know, the pandemic that was happening. I don't think that the issues that I am talking about were unique to me, especially at that time, which, to be fair, this feeling of, oh, I'm not unique enough in my specific issues to talk about them probably is part of what helped perpetuate it a little bit. The feeling of kind of guilt about, oh, if I start like rambling about these feelings that I have, am I acting as if everyone else isn't also dealing with this? Maybe not everyone else, but a significant number of people were. I was just one of them, and because I was just one of them, it made me feel like I should just you know, shut the fuck up about it. But having that and having this feeling that in the end I would have to move on from it uh, did force me to confront a lot of things. That I would have these kinds of cycles where I felt very energetic and very passionate about the things I was doing. Uh, and then I would have these long periods of powerlessness. Periods where I felt worthless and useless and in no way capable of producing anything meaningful. Not just producing anything meaningful, but just functioning in daily life. A kind of general feeling that there was just no point. At its worst, periods where I was just like, why should I get up today? Why should I feed myself today? What's the point? What's actually going to happen? Oh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to become less healthy. Why should I maintain healthy sleep patterns? Why should I maintain connections with the people around me? This sort of call of the void that I often fell into in between periods where I did feel like I kind of had something to do with myself and I felt a sense of purpose. Sometimes it feels like things just change inside you and then at that point 
every time you try and go back to living your life how it was before, uh, it feels like you're performing that life. It feels like you're staging it and you're no longer just living that life anymore. What I'm currently feeling, I think I can recognize as the same sorts of feelings I would usually have when I was falling into a depression. And in the same way, I had this feeling that maybe I should just shut the fuck up about it uh, because there are terrible material struggles that are happening right now. There are untold tragedies that are currently unfolding. People are losing families. What is the purpose of talking about mental health when there are these horrific things that are currently happening? And like I say, these were feelings that I all also had during that pandemic period. I didn't personally lose any family members from COVID. While I did have COVID several times, I never had long lasting health effects from it. Certainly being depressed for an extended period of time affected me financially, but I was not driven into financial ruin like so many other people during that whole period of time. It was the same guilt and my realization at that time was it's a guilt that I understand many people also felt and that it wasn't bad for me to express those feelings. It was actually a good thing because I know that one of the best ways to kind of help people process the things that they're going through is for them to recognize it in others. By being able to recognize that other people are going through it, you can then start to process it and then actually move on from it. And I have a feeling that in light of everything that's currently going on, these are also feelings that I'm not alone in having right now. It feels pointless to make fun, silly YouTube videos when things like this are happening. In fact, a lot of things in my life have felt quite pointless when I know that what is happening is happening. It makes me feel useless. It makes me see everything that I could possibly do as a kind of pointless exercise against these much larger institutions that actually have power to do anything. But here's what I wanted to say. If you do feel like you share any of the kinds of feelings that I do right now, a kind of feeling simultaneously of uselessness, worthlessness in the face of these atrocities that are currently unfolding. And on top of that, a, a feeling of shame that you even are allowing yourself to have this level of self-obsession, of self-involvement. When there are these things happening, recognize that the only way for you to actually get past them, the only way to actually get over this self-obsessed negative feeling is to recognize them. And that once you can recognize them, then maybe you can actually do things that actually could help in some way. Because I know it is very easy, especially right now, to feel like there is nothing that you could possibly do that could change anything. And to that, I can only show you all of human history. You know, I, I do fully buy into the idea that everything that happens is a result of material conditions that have set those things up. All of us are products of the environments that we've been brought up in. All, all of our actions are guided by the limits of what is in the control that we've been given. That sounded really... We are all materially limited. I'm not just speaking in these like super idealized terms that one person can just suddenly say like revolution time everyone and that will suddenly fix everything. I'm not even necessarily saying we have this kind of clear choice to this. But the fact is before we can figure out what exactly we have the power to do we need to be able to have the drive to actually do anything. This is actually one of the major frustrations that I had during my period of major depression through 2020, 2021, that I would constantly run into advice about ways that I could be more productive, how I could organize myself better, write lists. Everyone loves telling people to write lists of things to do. And it's really not hard on the internet right now to find out what are the things that that may be productive for you. The trouble is that nothing can tell you to care 
about any of it. It doesn't matter how many times you're given the correct advice if you have none of the drive to actually take it. So what I'm saying right now for all my rambly shit is please, if you feel any of these kinds of things right now, acknowledge them. Don't feel ashamed of them. Let yourself process this thing that you're going through and speak openly about it. And then through doing that, let yourself have the space to actually think, you know what? I care. I care about what's happening right now. And I don't doubt my ability to do something. One of the things that, funnily enough, I found to be a good coping mechanism for dealing with these feelings uh, is that I actually started uh, writing a book recently. I guess I kind of hit this limit on how useless I felt in the grand scheme of things to just kind of sit at my desk and end up writing like 40 pages of uh, a novel that I'd been thinking about for a very long time. Because admittedly, while my own personal work, my own fiction, storytelling stuff is something that I've always felt very passionate about, is something that I've always wanted to pursue, the feeling that doing so would be kind of pointless or irrelevant in the grand scheme of things is a large part of what has always pulled me back from that. Uh, so this is just a brief plug that if that is something that maybe interests you, uh, I'm currently posting updates about it on my Patreon and I'll probably uh, continue to do so on social media in the future. As for the actual content that you're probably subscribed to this channel for, uh, I'll, I'll keep you updated on that, but this is just a video that, that maybe would help some people. Uh, please check out the links that are connected to this video, uh, Free Palestine, uh, and I'll be speaking to you all again very soon.